Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rita, aka Pearl Light. Thank you for joining me if this is your first time on my channel. To my light gang, light fam, a squad deeper. Welcome guys, I hope you're having an amazing week. And if you want to be part of this light fam that I speak of, this squad click, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and click the bell next to it so you get notified every time I post a new video. So as you guys can see, in the description below, I'm going to be sharing a story. It's a story time. Yes, people, it's story time. I'm going to be sharing a story of a time where I doubted God. Does that sound familiar? Have you ever doubted God's existence? Have you ever doubted your relationship with God? Like the legitimacy of your relationship with God? Um, or just God's intentions towards you? If that's a yes, continue watching this video. If that's a no, continue watching this video. So basically what had happened was I had recently gotten saved and I was home for the holidays. Um, I was in varsity. If you haven't watched my video of my testimony, I'll link it somewhere so you can check that out as well so i was home from uni for the holidays and i recently gotten saved so basically i think we were we were either in a fast with like my sister and my cousins um or we had just come out of a fast so i have a lot of strong believers around me you know what i mean like encouraging me and we were encouraging each other and the lord that kind of thing so i remember there was this one day where i was just hit mind you guys like prior to this attack i was really in christ like i was really hungry and thirsty for jesus you know i was reading the word i was watching sermons you know we were just whoo it was nice it was good so i remember this day i was just hit with like doubt so much doubt and mind you prior to this attack or to this moment i hadn't doubted god or my relationship with god at any point um so this day i was just hit with doubt you know what i mean and i was so down like i was so down and sad because it was like i was doubting my relationship with god not so much god's existence but more so my relationship with god or like the legitimacy of my relationship with god like is god really talking to me like Am I really saved? Is God really in relationship with me? Just those kind of thoughts, you know, almost to the point where I, I even had the thought, does God exist? You know, like I was under such attack that I got to the point where I was like, does God even exist? And mind you, this is someone who has really immersed themselves, you know, who's really seeking God with all their heart. So I remember I was, I had these thoughts going in my mind and just in my heart, I was like, God, like what's going on like why is this happening you know what i mean just kind of crying out to him for like what's going on so i remember going to um, my bedroom and at the time like i had like tons of sermons on my laptop and i, I remember going to my bedroom and just opening my laptop and just like scrolling through like different videos um that i had downloaded so i remember i was drawn to this one sermon i don't know what it was guys Back then, I didn't know, but now I know it was the Holy Spirit drawing me to the Father. Um, so I, I was drawn to this sermon by Louis Giglio. I'll try to find it and link it as well in the description box below. Basically, the sermon was about the cell or this, um, yeah, it's a cell DNA in our body, um, which basically holds all the other cells in our body together. And that uh, cell or DNA or whatever it's called, chromosome, all that. It was in the shape of a cross so for me like that was just god saying rita i'm real my relationship with you is real you know what i mean and you know what i realized and why i wanted to share this story and why i wanted to share this testimony is that a lot of the time we go through periods or um phases in our relationship with god where we doubt god we doubt his character we doubt his goodness towards us we doubt our relationship with him based on external things you know not based on anything he has told us or he has said directly to us but based on external things and i'll just share the scripture that stood out to me as i thought back or as this was brought to my memory by the holy spirit um the scripture from jeremiah 29 verse 13 no verse 12 i'll read 12 to 14 
basically it says then you will call upon me and go and pray to me and i will listen to you and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart i will be found found by you says the lord and i will bring you back from captivity so i'll stop there so basically why i'm sharing that scripture is that god Jesus is a personal God. You know what I mean? He cares about your well-being. He cares about having an intimate relationship with you, you know? Um, so for me, the scripture just showed that he says that if you seek me with all your heart, a lot of the time we seek God with ulterior motives. You know what I mean? We kind of seek him for what we can get out of it. We seek him for how he can make us feel better about ourselves or feel better about our situations. But he says that when you seek me, with all your heart you know what i mean not seek what i can do for you seek what you can get from me um seek how you can benefit from me but just seek me just want me you know what i mean and for me in that point that i was in i was attacked with all this doubt but god knew my heart and that's another thing you cannot lie to god like a whole god of gods a whole lot of laws you think you can lie to him okay good luck so you know what i mean you can't deceive god like he knows your heart and at that point in time he knew my heart and he knew that i sincerely wanted him you know what i mean i sincerely sought him i was seeking him you know and he met me at my point of need he drew me to that sermon in that time knowing that this is exactly what rita needs for me to show her that my love is true for her for me to show her that my salvation that the gift of salvation that i've given her is legit you know so i just wanted to share that to encourage you and just something else that i want to share is that sometimes we like i said we judge our relationship with god based on external things like you will judge your relationship with god or um, the holy spirit in you based on the manifestation of the holy spirit in other people and i just want to encourage you that if you're seeking god with all of your heart do not please do not make the mistake of comparing your relationship with god based on other people's relationships with god especially people that you look up to who are more spiritually mature than you um who operate in certain um giftings prophetic signs and wonders that kind of stuff because a lot of the time we will judge our relationship with god based on theirs but it's like no they have their purpose you know the the body of christ is described as a body there's a finger there's a shoulder there's a leg you know what i mean we all play a different role we all have different purposes that the overall purpose is to give god glory through our lives but how we do that and also to spread the gospel of jesus christ how we do that looks different for each person within the body but it doesn't mean that because you're moving in the prophetic or you're moving in signs and wonders your relationship with jesus is more legitimate than mine um if i'm not moving in those um gifting so i just wanted to just come against that um lie from the devil that because you're not this high prophet then your relationship with god isn't that deep like that's just the life from the pit of hell i want to focus on the scripture where it says if you seek me with all your heart even the scripture where it says seek first the kingdom of god and all these things will be added unto you that's god's heart that we would seek him without ulterior motives um that we would seek him for him because we want him so that is it for today guys please comment down below if you've ever doubted god and what you did to get out of that place of um doubt or how god better yet how god got you out of that place of doubt um and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching guys i really appreciate you and i hope this encourages you i hope this edifies you um and all that good stuff thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye